Good evening, Bushcraft Survivalists and Preppers. What are we going to do tonight? Tuna Tin Survival Kit. Come on. Okay, how many times do we get stuff online in survival and we don't know what's inside it and we're never going to know until we get in a bad situation. You're not going to open it unless you're like me, who's going to open it for your benefit and have a look at, and I'm going to do a few things like this. Anyway, I just want to apologise again that I've been away for a while and I've been developing another channel on other things. So I'm back in the survival game, trying to look after my subscribers with things like this. So anyway, let's go and have a look. Come okay, on. here's the pack. It is, as I said, a survival tin is what's advertised and it will tell us on the outside what's in it, which is here. It's got compass, whistle, matches, first aid instructions. It doesn't say first aid. Razor blade, pencil, non-aspirin pain reliever, and more. So we don't actually know what we've gotten in the team. So we're going to find out. This particular survival team is on Amazon. Sardine Can Survival. It's the blue, whatever that means. Which covers canoeing, hiking, camping, shooting, skiing, snowmobiles, bikes and Land Rovers. And it doesn't say a lot on pocket size. It floats, you can cook in a tin, you can bail water for all terrain, mountain, jungle, arctic sea, watertight, crush proof, drink out of the tin and live through it. This can contains what you've done and it gives us some descriptions on that. So anyway, we want to have a look inside, let's go and have a look. Anyway, it comes just simply in a packet staple, so we'll get rid of that. Um, on the tin itself, fire starter cube, matches, whistle, pencil, note, paper, reflect. So it sounds like there's a lot in it. Is there a lot in it? On the back, just says survival sardine can. Giftware. An ideal gift for bushcrafters, actually. And especially survivalists, because you wouldn't be disappointed. Okay, let's open up and have a look. Looks interesting. Let's get it out and have a look. So we've got a Tootsie Roll Sweetie. we got the Firelight and Block. We've got some thread, which could be used for fishing line. We've got a safety pin, which could be used as a fish hook. We've got sugar for complex carbohydrates. We've got some chewing gum, which I could do without, to be honest with you. We have a razor blade, which is, if you're not going to unwrap it, it is a razor blade, which can come in handy both for shaving and lots of other things. I don't think the plaster is exactly first aid I think I would carry more comprehensive thing, but I wouldn't be disappointed so far with what I've got. I've got a whistle and I've got a very small button compass, which, let's have a go, does work. Okay. The tin, oh, sorry, pencil. I take back the here. Uh, the safety pin idea because we've got a fish hook in here so we've got the cotton we've got a fish hook I can make a stick type hobo really thing and uh, do some fishing although I would have liked to have seen some more hooks because we all know what it's like to lose some line in the seaweed and I don't know how strong the cotton is in the box in the packet that came with it sorry we got a waterproof packet which is going to come in useful Okay, inside the waterproof packet, zip seal, I'll move that one out of the way because I want to go back in this tin 
I just now I've ruined this. That's the problem, you know, in the home situation. That's why I want to open them and let you know before you buy them. Cup of tea, tea bag or bags, matches, just a standard pack of matches here. No super duper waterproofy jobs, but they're in a waterproof bag. We have iodized salt, could do without that, and the fessen. They are the paracetamol things, painkillers. Alcohol swabs and an antibiotic swab. So it's a lot of first aid in here, but only to be used once. Ideal, excellent idea is a bit of duct tape because we know the multiples of use we can have with duct tape. We can use it as plasters, we can start fires with them. There isn't a lot and there could have been more in it. So, you know, okay. I'm not disappointed because it's not expensive. We've even got the uh, paper clip for various different things, toothpicks, whatever. It contains more than 25 items. This refers to the note paper, which isn't a lot, to be honest with this. So quite frankly, I would, I, I would rather have my own reopenable tin with sealable stuff in. So it lets it down. We've got some first aid treatments on here, which is useful. I would keep that in the tin. We've got some survival aids here. Sit, think, observe, plan. And it tells us what to use things for. As I say, for example, a water cup, you know, or even to boil your water on. You know, because I'm cooking it, you know, indeed if you forget anything. You can always use a tin for lots of things. But again, I could use a tin with a top on it for making char cloth. This wouldn't seal. So, I, anyway, let's go on. Um, a blade intended for various roofs, resealable bag, reflective signal surface of the can. So they're saying that's reflective, or well, that's reflective. No, it's not very reflective, but we could make that reflective. So there's another use for the can. Safety emergency, emergency for the safety pen, mending, salt take with water to fight dehydration, sugar quick, energy sweet drink. So everything's in there. So I think we've covered a lot of stuff. I will now take what I've got here and I'll put it in a tin with a lid or I'll add it to my existing. And if I want a cup, I'll carry a tin of tuna around because it would have been a meal. So anyway, let's go back up and discuss it. Okay, pros. The pros are, it's a ready-made kit, to a degree. In a survival situation, it's light. You could put it in your bag, it will show up on the radar. So to be honest, if you're in an aeroplane, you might have a bit of difficulty taking that hand luggage, which is, which is where you'd want it if you crash on a plane. Not in your luggage, splattered all over the forest. Probably along with a lot of other people. But anyway, cons. There's not enough in it for the size of the tin. I can get a lot more useful stuff in the tin. For example, a lot more duct tape in a roll shoved in the corner. Um, the matches are not waterproof, even though they're in a zip seal. The sugar, yeah, it's a good for the day. Uh, certainly a little bit of first aid in there. And we could use our own clothes for dressings, I suppose. Pencil, compass is a very useful tool. Uh, I could have done without the Tootsie. Tootsie roll, which I'm not going to open, but I'm assuming it's a sweet, you know. Uh, fire light is always good. I don't know how well it would work and well it perform. Fish hook could have been several fish hooks would have fitted in there, no problem. Because they don't come cheap. They're wanting £10 for these or more, you know. 
Would I recommend it? Would I buy it again? The answer is absolutely not. I'm sorry guys, there's not enough in it, in my opinion, for its weight. You can get a lot more in it, make it a lot more useful. You could actually get a blade in here, sealed. Again, you couldn't carry it on a plane. So there's lots of no-nos for this. The Pro is it's light, it's not cheap for what it is. And there you go. The Sardine Cam Survival Kit. Gets a no-no for me. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what is in them so that you don't buy them. Or if you do buy them, you know what you're buying. So that's the purpose of it. So I hope it's of some use to you. And this is Pete on Survival signing out saying please don't forget to like, share and above all else, subscribe! <laughs>